Hey everyone, this is Ramona for Out of the Spinary. Uh, this week is Fluffy Week, and I had no idea what I wanted to do for this week. Um, I originally wanted to post a makeup tutorial, but that didn't work out. My editing software was being weird, and I'm st I still have a cold, so that didn't work out. So I still wanted to do something makeup related, um, so I'm just going to do like, uh, like, me showing like my favorite makeup products from the last like couple months or so um i don't have a lot but yeah so my first favorites are these two brushes um this is an it cosmetics brush that i got at ulta it is the airbrush angled shadow crease number 117 um they're dirty because i've used them but it's a very very fluffy but it's also dense, but it's a perfect brush for um, this area of your eye to blend your shadows together. And then this blush brush, which is my all-time favorite blush brush. It's so dense, but also so fluffy, and it's it's so perfect. You just need like one dab in the product and a couple dabs on the cheek, and you have a perfect amount of pigment. Uh, next up is this Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub, um, which is an amazing lip scrub, especially if you put it under lip, um, or do it before you apply liquid lipsticks. Um, there's not, you know, ugly lines that appear uh, as the product dries and stuff like that, and it tastes amazing. I'd honestly eat this on its own. And then the Milani Eyeshadow Primer which is by far it's up there with the Urban Decay primer potion and I've, I've used that a couple of times but I honestly I like this one more um, and this is in the shade Nude I think they have a white one and one shade darker than this but um, it's so perfect you just apply it on your eyelids and it's It'll keep your eyeshadow from creasing for 8-10 hours, so. Next is my fa all-time favorite concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and I am in the shade Fair Neutral. And this is by far the best concealer I've ever used, and I've used a lot of concealers. Um, it's so perfect, not only to, like, cover spots, but it's so perfect for under eyes, it does not crease, especially um, when you set it with a powder. And it's, I have a, a shade lighter than me, uh, than my actual skin tone, just for, especially because I use it under my eyes, it's a nice highlight. And yeah, it's an amazing, amazing concealer. Um, and I think it's about, it's definitely not cheap, but... Um, I think it's $25, um, so it's not cheap, it's an investment, but I am so, so happy to repurchase this, because it has changed my life when it comes to concealer. And then, next I have a nail polish. Um, this is a Studio M nail polish in the shade Rose Quartz, and it's actually the shade I have on now, which is, this is awful lighting, but it's like a... It's a really cute baby pink. Um, not much to say. It's it wears really nice. I've had these for about I had it uh, painted for about two and a half weeks at this point, and it wears really nice. So, yeah. And then next, I have four lipsticks because I like lipstick a lot. First is "Pee Off" by Kat Von D. It's a really pretty chocolate brown shade. And it, and it also has purple, uh, purple glitter in it, and which you probably will not be able to see on camera. Um, but it's such a, such a pretty color. Oh, this is so bad. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's, I wore it all the time during fall, and I'm still going to wear it during spring and summer. And then my next lipstick, this is Matte Temper by Urban Decay. Um, the one thing I do not like about the Urban Decay lipsticks is I hate the applicator. I don't like the slant tip. I prefer the um, the regular like bullet where it's kind of pointy. 
But this is a really pretty, kind of like a red orange, but it's so, 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 so pretty. Um, I'm definitely going to wear it a lot during summer. And then this is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Sandstorm. And I've heard this is a very close dupe for Jeffree Star's Posh Spice, which is the shade I want the most from Jeffree Star. But I also love this formula. This formula, formula is incredible. Um, it doesn't dry, dry out my lips. It's this one. It's like a, a cool toned brown. It looks a lot warmer just because of my lamp, but it's so pretty. Um, and I love how it looks on me as well. And then the last liquid lipstick I have is the NYX Lip Lingerie. This is in the shade Honeymoon. And this is definitely more of a matte lipstick. Um, it definitely dries down matte. There's no transfer. And they are very drying, but I use a balm underneath. And it keeps me okay for the day, usually. Um, it is this color right here. And it's a lot, um, I would say it's also a cool toned brown, but it's, it's cool, it's cooler toned than Sandstorm by NYX, um, cause that is definitely a lot warmer, it has more orange in it and pink in it, and this one is just very cool, um, so yeah, and then on to my last products, which is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I got this in the mail a couple of weeks ago. This is my all-time favorite palette at this point. I also have the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, which I also do really love. But the Sweet Peach palette is, is something else. It's just... I've used almost every shade besides, I think... I think the green and the black, um, every other shade is perfect. Um, some of them, they're kind of inconsistent in how they wear and the pigmentation, but I think it is a perfect palette, especially for me. I look better in warmer eyeshadows um, and then like a nude lip, and it's it's so perfect for me. And, I'm, and the packaging, like, the packaging is so cute. And... I just, I'm in love with this palette. Um, I've used it like daily since I got it. Um, which is weird because I used to always, I used to use this daily. But it's been replaced. But um, it's definitely going to be a perfect palette for the rest of spring and all of summer. So that was my makeup favorites for the past couple months, I guess. Um... Yeah, I mean, I hope to do an actual makeup tutorial once I get editing software and stuff like that. And I'd love to post those on this channel for Fluffy Weeks, just because makeup is a huge, huge passion of mine. And nothing really makes me as happy as makeup does. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, signing out.